Well, hello, my YouTube family. saying hello to. Well, I still have a job, thank God. <clears throat> I don't know. The latest thing, because it happened again today, is people coming in after five o'clock. Like, you know we close at five, right? Like the front door literally shuts itself. But there was a woman who came in at a quarter to five didn't have all the things that she needed a quarter to five. Said, oh, I'll be back. I'll be back. Talking because she needed to speak to somebody in the HR department. And, and the as she's walking out the door, when the door closed behind her, the girl, the other one, uh, Alpha's teammate, whatever, uh, said she's coming back it's already quarter i said mm, i'm not gonna mm. i'm not saying a word this woman calls me at five to five when do you guys close i said at five o'clock oh okay well i'll be there in a minute a minute meant 10 after 5. I didn't say nothing. I stayed. I didn't get an attitude. It was not going to be a repeat of Friday. I wasn't going to make a stink. Uh, not that I did Friday. But I wasn't going to show my annoyance. I might have done that on Friday. But I wasn't going to show it today. Because she did call. She had the decency of calling. But bitch, the sign says right out front what time we close. Some people just assume that rules do not apply to them whatsoever. So she breezed on in at 10 after 5. Oh, thank you, thank you. I tried calling the HR department. They weren't picking up. So I went to the HR department. Because uh, Queen of Darkness's door was open. And she was still in. And I said, uh, somebody is asking for the for the HR department. So Alpha came out. As soon as she came out to speak to this woman, I closed my light. I went to the bathroom, came back. The woman was still with Alpha. I put on my coat. I clocked out. I opened the door and I said, good night. I closed the door. I walked out the front door. Nobody could say I had an attitude. Nobody could say, nobody could say boo. Left Alpha still with the woman. Wasn't going to be me today. No siree, bub. I'm not pissed, but you know when you like on the borderline? So I'm on the borderline. Anyway, we all know what this means, right? Only two things, people. I needed a new facial scrub because Lord Jesus, the one that I've got, I'm never going to order that one again, ever. Ever. It is a, it's a facial scrub. It's not a Queen Helene. It's, it's something. I don't know what it is, but it has the quote unquote scent of green tea. No, it doesn't. I couldn't take it anymore. I couldn't take it anymore. It cleaned the face. It did what it had to do, but I, I just couldn't take it anymore. So I bought a new one, clean and clear. Lemon zesty scrub, and at least, at least it has the freshness of lemons. I can deal with this scent. That one, I, I pretty much finished it. It's got maybe about 
two weeks worth of facial scrub left in it. I can't. It's going to go in La Garbaggio, and I'm wearing this one tomorrow. Okay, so you know when you just, you, you, you tolerated something for as long as you can tolerate it, and you can't tolerate it anymore. So this is going to be my new one. My Clean and Clear Lemon Zesty Scrub Buffs and Brightens with Gentle Micro Scrubbies. I got that. And, okay, there we go. I cannot squeeze anything out of this anymore. This Too Faced Shadow Insurance, which is my love. I love this primer for my eyeshadows so very much. And, of course, I don't buy the big size. This has lasted me years and years and years. Because there were years when you didn't go to work. Didn't have a job. There were those down periods where I wasn't wearing sh shadow. Not like I'm wearing shadow now. Because you know Nancy is the shadow queen now, right? So um, this has lasted me for quite some time. And... Now, I really can't squeeze anything out of it anymore, so I bought a new one. So this is the old, which I think I still am going to squeeze. I'm going to use this one to the end, and I'm going to start using this one maybe February 1st, you know, in February. I'll finish this one off in January because I think we only have one more week left in January. So I'm, I'm going to squeeze every single ounce of the last drop of this Too Faced Shadow Insurance. This is the best eyeshadow primer ever. Love it. Love it. And this is a travel size. This is like a trial size. Lasts me forever and a day. But this is my jam now. So, um, yeah. Speaking of eyeshadow, the one I am wearing on my eyes today. Yeah, there's actually something there. It is from this palette, the Profusion Cosmetics. Palette, seven shade multi finish eyeshadow palette. And the shade I am wearing does have a name. The shade, am I wearing Bewitch or am I wearing All Heart? I think I'm wearing All Heart. Lord, I don't even know which one I'm wearing. I'm wearing All Heart. This is All Heart right here. Maybe if I take this out, you'll see it a little better. It's, it's this one right here. That's the one I'm wearing today. And it is called All Heart. Right there. It is a neutral palette. But it's got this nice shimmery one over here and this shimmery one over here. And the rest of them are matte. There's a black one right here. I got two of these palettes, but not the, they're not the same. There's this palette. And where's the other palette? Where's the other one? Oh, here we go. And there's this palette. Now, you, they look alike, but they're not alike because this one, this one has that, this black one on the end. And this one is the all neutral palette. Yes. Seven shade multi finish eyeshadow palette. Love it. So, eyeshadow queen. Yes, I am. So, what is going on here? There you go. So, I love when they're cute and small like this. They're cute and small. I like I like that because they I can tuck them into my to wherever all of my eyeshadows are. All of my eyeshadows. Before it was I'm never wearing eyeshadows. Now it's I can't leave the house without wearing an eyeshadow. It is what it is, people. It is what it is. People are ever changing, ever evolving so i guess i've evolved to an eyeshadow person deal with it lips of the day though would have been 
this color, I think it's a color statement, the Color Sensational, Maybelline Color Sensational Lipstick. It's a matte, ugh, but I love the shade. It's very bossy, number 820, very bossy, which of course I have done a lip look on before. This is very bossy. Look at that shade, people. It don't match nothing that I'm wearing, but then who cares because of, like, does it even matter? So I can wear anything I want, really. That is very bossy, and let us put very bossy on. Sure, I should have had it on my lips before I started the video, but you know, hey, so that means no lip liner. It's just going to go straight on, okay? Here we go. Mm. Very bossy. Very bossy, which is the matte version of Rebel, Mac Rebel, which I have a ton of. I can't seem to steer, steer clear from that shade. I'll get this shade every single time. I have it a multitude of times in different brands. I have it in Mac. I have it in Maybelline. I probably have it in Revlon, too. But I love it. It's a berry. It's a dark berry shade. I love it this shade and it's nice and creamy soft oh mm. so there you have it people color sensational number 820 very bossy very bossy so I have no stories for you except when I walked in Alpha must have been convinced that I, I was fired Friday because she, she I walked in and I said, good morning. And she said, oh, you made it. I said, yes, I sure did. Went right back to my desk. I am going to try my best people to not let people get to me. And today was a brand new Nancy. Oh, you should have seen me today. Oscar winning performance for the best upbeat receptionist you have ever seen. Oh yeah, people were still annoying as they always are, but did I show annoyance? Not today. Oh no. What do you want? You you want mask? I give you a mask. Can I have two more? You want two more masks? Sure. Oh, hunty, I, you know, the Academy Award goes to this chick right here. So if that's the way I have to be moving forward and nobody bothering me, then that's the way it's going to be moving forward. Even Queen of Darkness called and said, Nancy, are you okay up front? Because I have to tell you that Saturday... Friday night at around 7. I emailed her because I was I was scared out of my mind. I really thought I had lost my job. With the whole escorting me out through the back and all of this because that woman was going, she was bitching a fit. So I emailed her. And I did ask her. I said, do I have a job to come to tomorrow, on Monday? She did not email me back Friday night. So, you know, I, my I tossed and turned and tossed and turned and tossed and turned. I really thought she wasn't going to email me at all. She emailed me Saturday morning. And she said, of course, you're part of my team. Of course, you still have a job. See you on Monday. 
and in the midst of the busiest part of the day, which is around quarter to 11, 11 o'clock. That's when you think, that's when everybody wakes up from their coma from the midday. And she called and she said, are you okay? Everything all right up front? I said, yes, everything is fine. Busy and everything is fine. And she said, okay, good. Talk to you later. Which she never really did, but you know. So I got to stay on that side of her forever for as long as I, I'm working. But I know Alpha thought that I was, she wasn't going to see me ever again. But when, she, when Queen of Darkness emailed me Saturday morning, the weight of the world. You want to talk about I relaxed Saturday? I didn't do shit. You understand what I'm saying? I watched my Chicago PD marathon. No. No, I take that back. Saturdays, now, now I'm getting caught up in this show. Saturdays, Law and Order SVU, there's an entire marathon every Saturday. So I hold back my Chicago PDs for Sunday. Because on Sunday, there's really not much to watch. Sometimes there's figure skating, which, yes, there was last week. I mean, set Sunday. But golf went into the skating, and I wound up only watching half an hour of it. It was a whole hour, and, of course, golf interrupted because it was supposed to be finished at 5, and it didn't finish until 5.30. So I had 5.30 to 6 o'clock to watch two, two pair of skaters. That was it. But anyway, Saturday, after I saw that um, message from her, the weight of the world had lifted, and I felt so relieved, so much better. I just relaxed. And of course, I saved my laundry for Sunday. But I just... But that doesn't mean put your guard down, Nancy. Oh, hell to the no. No, no. Guard down nothing. It, it was a relief. You... You do still have a job. Thank you, Jesus. And you plan on keeping this one. So, so far, so good. Let us not have any more bumps in the road. If we can prevent them from happening, we will do so. <sighs> one more week of January, then we go into February. And I'm taking a day off in February. I don't know which one. I just know I'm taking a day off. One day a month. Um, Little bitch didn't come to work again today. She either takes Monday, Wednesday, or Friday. I'm, I'm getting to see the pattern. Either Monday, Wednesday, or Friday off. She has not worked. I don't know how long she's been here. Did they hire her in December? Or did they hire her in January? I don't know. But she's been out at least five or six times already. I ain't saying nothing. There's another one, another little girl. She another little girl. Who also manages to take Monday, Wednesday, or Friday off. These youngins, they must, I think they probably, probably still work at live at home or whatever. So they, they don't really have that sense of, oh, I have responsibilities. I say nothing. As a matter of fact, I heard through the grapevine that the other the, the the other little girl, she's getting ready to go back to school. So she really doesn't care. She She's going to take her days, if she even had days to begin with, but she's going to take some days before she goes back to school. So she and little bitch didn't come today. You know what? Whatever. I certainly didn't miss little bitch. Never do. So, all in all, it was a really good day. I'm just going to say that right up front. It was a really good day. I could have gone to get my hair done, but as you can see, I did not. I should, uh, maybe this weekend, who knows. Come Saturdays, I am so bloody tired. I don't want to do jack, but 
you do have to go out and get your hair done. So maybe this weekend. I'll start February looking gorgeous. Not that I don't look gorgeous without the hair done. Oh, uh, yeah. Just saying, people. Yes, I am in good spirits because it was a good day. If I have to fake it all day, because it it's exhausting to fake it. But if that's going to keep my world going like this, with no bumps in the road, no yelling, no screaming, no crazy people, then that's what I'm going to have to do. It's the little sacrifices in life that make life worth living, I guess. Okay, so on that note, that is it. That is all. This is Lips of the Day, Eyeshadow of the Day. I put a brown eyeshadow because there's some brown in my shirt. And of course, it's Monday, so you know it's black. This this shirt is black and gray with some black pants and a little bit of a kind of like a brownish whatever. Anyway, that is it. That is all. This is lips of the day. That is the day. And um that's really it in a nutshell. That is it in a nutshell. Um, I am still looking at eyeshadows, but I'm not wanting for it. Well, with the exception of that damn Too Faced palette. And these, I bought these palettes because they have the shades in the Too Faced palette. I bought these palettes to kind of maybe quench the desire for that particular palette and in certain when i look at them when i stare at them really hard when i stare at them really hard i go girl you don't need the Too face because these are the shades that are in the Too face palette which is true there's some shimmers and there's some shimmers in the Too face palette and some mattes and it's new they're neutral palettes and that Too face palette is a neutral palette i still want that palette I mean, for now, the profusion satisfies me greatly, but I still want that palette. You know when you just want something just to want something? And you got to have it no matter what. Oh, I'm going to find a way to get that palette. Don't know when, don't know how, but um, I will. I will eventually. I will eventually. I will eventually get that palette. My wheels are turning in my head. Something, something is brewing up there. So I may order the palette tonight. Who knows? Okay. So, um, hmm. Okay. So that is it. That is all. This is lips of the day. I am actually going now because I may just be ordering my palette uh, tonight. I'll let y'all know. I will talk to you tomorrow, hopefully. But then again, you know, Mondays and Fridays, I do try to come in at five. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday are the the big end days. The big end days. So, of course, whenever you don't see me, you know it's because Nancy's working late or she took a day off. And for the most part right now, we're still in January. I'm not taking any days off. I took one day off. Like I said, I take a day off a month. I already took my day for this month. So if you don't see me between Tuesday and Thursday, you know Nancy's still at work, right? Still busting her ass trying to get it done, okay? On that note, I love you. I love my YouTube family. Hit me up. Let me know what you think, and I will talk to you soon. I will talk to you soon, okay? I love you. Mwah. Bye now.